Hi there, my name is Hannah Beam. Welcome to the Hutchinson Art Center's online art camp. Today we're talking about who helps display art. A lot of people help display art. People who own businesses, for example, display a lot of art. Coffee shops and other places like that will hang art on their walls in their businesses to, because it looks good. We've talked about reasons to display art before. People who own homes display art within their homes. Even people who have a fridge or a wall of any sort can display art in their space. Art is also displayed in places like museums and galleries and art centers, more formal places and professional places too. Art directors, curators, and art collectors are people who help display art in these formal settings. So today, we're gonna take a look at our art. So what you need to do is find any art that you've made recently, maybe art that you've made with the art camp, or maybe art that you've made at school or at home or just for fun, whatever it is, get your art out and lay it out so you can look at it all together. If you don't have very much art right now, you can go and watch some of our other videos and make some projects and then come back to this video and and do this activity. So what I have here is I have all of the projects that we've done so far, or most of them, laid out here to look at and evaluate. So when you're looking at your art and thinking about it, this is a very important thing that artists do because when you look at it all together like this, all together you could call this a portfolio of work perhaps, you kind of gives you an idea of where your skills are and how you've improved. Sometimes work that you did earlier will be a little bit messier than work that you've done more recently because you've learned your craft a little bit. So it's really fun to get it all out to look at it for looking for signs of improvement. You can also look at it and think about the different pieces. Which ones did you spend a lot of time on? Do they look better than the ones that you did really quickly? Why do you think that is, with whichever way it is? If the ones that you did quickly look better to you than the ones that you did spend a lot of time on, ask yourself why and see if there's something specific about it that sticks out to you of why you like it better. Do you have a very favorite piece? That's something you can look at when you have all your pieces out together. There might be a piece that you thought was your favorite, but when you get them all together, you realize another piece is actually your favorite. Another fun thing to do is change your perspective. When you're looking at these pieces, view them upside down. Turn them around and see if they look different upside down. Sometimes I'll even jump around or spin in circles and then look at my piece and see if it looks any different to me. When you have your art all out in front of you, you can also rearrange it in different ways and see if how you react to it changes. Right now, I have these projects organized in about the order that we made them. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. I have some of the earlier ones up here, and then it goes down to some of the later ones that we've done over here. But if I wanted to rearrange them by how they look, I would maybe look for similarities and differences and try to balance them out or arrange them differently. I noticed this one has plants, and this one has plants, and this one and this one all have plants. This one has actual leaves on it. So I could either group those together because they're similar, or I could try to spread them out from each other so that um, the plants are more evenly distributed. I have a lot of them that are done in marker also. That one's marker, and so is that one, and this one, that one's watercolor. This one has watercolors on it too. I have a lot of collage ones. So I can also look at the different materials and media that I've used and think about which ones I liked making the most. I think this project is one of my favorites for sure. I like that it was painting and I like that it incorporated 3D art a little bit too. I definitely had a lot of fun with this one. So you can think about all these different things as you look at your art. So, as you're looking at your art, you're kind of looking at your portfolio and you're using a judgmental eye and kind of critiquing your own art in a way. This is a really good exercise for all artists to do. So I hope you have fun creating today.